Well, I was at the grocery store about two or so weeks ago. Mm hmm And my eyes landed upon a hot Cheeto bag. Mm hmm And I asked my mom if I could have, if she could, like, buy me the hot Cheeto bag. And she said no. And I begged her and I begged her. And she still said no. And so I just grabbed the hot Cheeto bag and I told the cashier to ring it up. And she's like, she said no because my mom said no. And I asked her again to ring it up. And she still said no. And so I ran down the toy aisle and I got a baseball bat. And I started hitting her several times over the, upside the head. And yeah. And then I took all the hot Cheetos about seven in my hands and ran out the store. My mom was furious that night. And then two days or so after that, um, I saw her on the news and they pronounced that she was dead. Oh boy, Kimberly, I tell you. Do you think that is all in your mom's head? And do you think that is normal behavior, Kimberly? I guess not, but all she had to do was bring up my darn hot Cheetos, and everything would be fine. That's all I asked. <sighs> okay, calm down, Kimberly. Well, you know what? We appreciate you sharing with the group. This is part, the first part of recovery, and we really appreciate you doing this. Now, the second part of recovery is for you to say, I, Kimberly, have an addiction to hot Cheetos and I need help. Can you please stand and say that? I Kimberly have an addiction to hot Cheetos and I need help. Very good Kimberly. I am very proud of you. Thank you. You may be seated. Okay. Well, who do we have over here? We have another young lady here at Happy Faces. Hello. Can you please tell me your name? Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, please share with me why your mom brought you to Happy Faces Recovery Center. Well, at school, I went to, like, I sat down and I went to my book bag to my class. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And my teacher caught me. Yes. She said, throw them in the trash. And uh huh. I had a blackout. Now, Lisa, why didn't you just throw them in the trash? You had a blackout. What happened, Lisa, when you came to? Well, when I woke up out of the blackout, I saw every desk over it. Every desk was flipped over, and what else, Lisa? Oh no, there was kids on the floor. <laughs> Lisa, this is not a funny matter. Lisa, those kids are dead, and the teacher is dead. That is not a funny matter, Lisa. You're going to be in this recovery center for a long time until you realize that what you did was wrong. Now, do you understand that? Now, I would like for you as part of your recovery to stand up as well and say that you have a problem. Do, first of all, do you admit that you have a problem? No. Lisa, you have the telltale signs of hot Cheeto addiction. Do I have to also point those out to you? You have the typical stained red face. Those stains, Lisa, are going to take a long time to remove. Now, Lisa, show your hands. Look at that. There we go again. The stained hands. The typical red stained hands. Lisa, you have an addiction now. Are you ready to come clean? Yes. Okay, Lisa. You must stand up and you must say, I, Lisa, have an, a Cheeto addiction and I need help. Please stand. I, Lisa, have a hot Cheeto addiction and I need help. Very good. 
Now, the third phase of this is to test you both out. And once you complete this last phase, you guys are well on your road to recovery and you're going to move up in the program. Now, this is the most difficult. Now, you guys, I just want you to take deep breaths right now. Okay? And remember, you are bigger than your problem. Repeat that. We, we are bigger than our problem. Okay, now here is the test. Chan, I'm sorry. Honey, what is your name again? Kimberly? Yes. Here. You hold that, Kimberly. Kimberly. Please, hold that. Don't, they're very good. Very good, Kimberly. Very good. Lisa, you hold that. Very good. Very good. And now, I want you guys to say, I do not have a hot Cheeto addiction. I do not have a hot Cheeto addiction. Very good. Now, see, you guys have just passed the most critical part of this whole center here, and that is to actually hold a hot bag of Cheetos, an open bag at that, and not look in it or try to eat it you know I am very proud of you guys okay you did a wonderful job guys please 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 guys no please please 